センチ、百五点五キロ。ダニエル・グレイシー。ダニエル・グレイシー、三十一歳の年齢、as mentioned。Actually, weighed in at 232 pounds for this event. And a big round of applause for Nakamura, weighing in at 228 pounds for Bushido. Okay, center. Hey, Nakamura, center. Don't hit one. Don't go one. Don't attack everyone. Apart from me. Don't grab him with low. Don't too much pumping. Okay? Free fight. Free fight. Again, one ten minute round, one five minute round. There you see Kazuhiro Nakamura. There he is, the former model in Brazil, and the biggest member of Team Gracie, Daniel Gracie. This bout is underway, Boss Rutan. Yes, it is. And I wonder if we're going to see some break dancing. Daniel says he's been working on his striking. Well, all the Gracies say they have. Now they go into a clinch. Nakamura has mentioned one of Yoshida's prize students. Yep, and now it's judo time from this position. I would say from this position, officially, I would give it to Nakamura for a takedown, for a hip throw. No, very smart. Daniel says he's been working hard in both boxing and Muay Thai in preparation for this event. Oh, a nice strike there by Nakamura, going upstairs, but met in kind by Gracie. So they're standing up right now. Both doing a good job. Nice right low kick there. Oh, he's got a good right hand, Nakamura. If that's going to be on the button, it's going to be end of fight, end of the game. Measuring each other up now, Nakamura gauging the distance with that inside left kick, low kick. Coming in with the right, misses his, he should do that more for the right low kick, left punch, right low kick. Of course, want to use that kick. Nice left. Coming Hit inside again. there by Nakamura, but it's Gracie that falls on top of him into the half guard. Open guard right now. Yes, yeah, so he can pass it. And, and he no. should pass it. He, not anymore. The hook is in. Okay, shift not working. Stop, don't move. Well, see, now this I never could get. Stop, don't move, but then they move. Yeah. Well, hey, what can I say? Yep, they uh, now go back to the center of the ring and okay. do Nakamura's half guard. What um, Daniel right now has to do is cross face him with his right hand so he can break the grip of Nakamura. Okay, it's broken, but not because... Not the rib. <laughs> Just because he decided so. Ooh, nice body shot there. Wants to get side control. Oh. Look at this! Look at Nakamura reversal. There's a sweep, and Nakamura now into the full guard of Daniel Gracie. And they're going to restart. He's going to restart it to the center of the ring. Very tenacious is the 24-year-old Kazuhiro Nakamura. He used to be afraid of striking was Nakamura, but through his K1 matches overcame that fear. Feels very honored to be representing Japan, by the way. In the Special oh, Live Series, this is the rubber match right now as it's tied 1-1, but look at this, some flurry of action in the guard of Daniel Gracie. Daniel's doing a good job too, he's pushing himself out and tries to kick to the face. Cross face by Nakamura into the last seven minutes of the first round. And the huge crowd here at Saitama Super Arena watching on as Team Japan and Team Gracie continue to do battle in the center of the ring. First time ever, five Gracies on the card. Nakamura's got a good left hand. Oh, no, it's going for an arm bar, but Nakamura knows. On his feet, he's got a good left hand, and on the bottom, he's got a great left hand, too. You watch. Of course, uh, he's setting up. Daniel is setting him up for an armbar, it looks like. He's twisting, twisting his hips out. Pushing him away now. Kick him in the face. You he watch. He wants to go for an up kick, like we saw happen. 
with help, Gracie. Back into the guard, tries to pass it, go to a half guard. No. Into the full guard again. Of course, the Gracies, the pedigree going back to their Elio Gracie. Trailblazers, mixed martial arts, going back to 1993. Very revered here in Japan. Daniel Gracie with a record of 2 and 0. Nice up there. Nice. A little bit low in that second one. Back into uh, full guard again. Why would he do that? Why wouldn't he try to go to the sign mount or something or kick the legs, do I, something? It looked like that's what I thought Nakamura was attempting to do with the open guard and on his feet. But he uh, collapses again into the full guard. And you know what Daniel Gracie's power... Armbar, armbar coming, see. Daniel Gracie, Gracie looks that. like... And of course with the Gracie you always have to uh, be careful of that omoplata as well. Halfway through round one, number one. Yes, he's got his left knee right up there. You see that Daniels all the time he's, he's swifting his hips out, so he's looking for an armbar. But Nakamura, he knows every time he escapes it really is easy. Right now, if they if it keeps going like this, I would say that the referee would put it up. Oh man! Another left. I thought he's got a great left hand. It looks like there might even be a bit of a mouse. <laughs> developing on the right side of Daniel it looks a, appears so and Nakamura with some power in those shots but I agree with you boss in the Bushido rules as now Nakamura stands up now looking for no back into the guard and he's on his feet now open guard Yoshida looking to see how much time is left but you're right, they really are wanting to stress the action on the ground, especially here in Bushido. Oh, we're seeing some action. I, I told you, he's got a great left hand. Voice Gracie looking on intently. Oh, look oh, at nice this body shot. shot. The body. And that's the liver again. Liver shot, ladies. Take it again. Going upstairs now is Nakamura. Daniel, the right hand. Okay, now he's back on his feet again. If I were him, push the feet step, to the side. Uh, yeah, or, or step back and just bring him back to his feet, even. There's a Hal Gracie victorious over Mashima tonight. Going for a side choke here, but it's really easy to escape. He only has to push his arm upwards now, and he will be out of the side choke. See, like that. Action up close and personal here in Pride. Bushido, three minutes remaining now in round number one. And really, a bit of a, a ne not necessarily a scale as Nakamura has been dominating the round, but not... Oh, and another one. He's, his left hand is phenomenal. The southpaw strength in Nakamura has been the difference here in the opening ten minutes. There, an upkick by Daniel Gracie. Oh, another shot by Nakamura. Now it's beginning to pick up in the final few minutes. Now, perhaps, they'll take it back to the feet. Nope, Nakamura rushes in again. But back into the guard, boss. I don't understand why he doesn't put the legs away and go for a side mount, passing the guard. Yeah, I think it's, it's difficult with a guy like Daniel on the ground. So big. His, his hip movement is so good. Okay, they're going to put him back on the feet now. Finally. Is it in the center of the ring? Yes. Oh, that's too bad. So they're I... not bringing him to their feet? Nope. It's a restart. But you know what? Nakamura is doing a great oh, job. Doing, on he's the right. He's staying busy. He's definitely scoring points. No doubt about that. Come on, 
We have been spoiled thus far here at Pride Bushido with the action we've seen thus far. Every fight has been a great fight. It's been a tremendous debut thus far here. Look at this. Team Gracie versus Team Japan. Now Nakamura looking to rain down those blows again. Gracie, and looks like he is going to attempt side control here. Still with the hook in is Gracie. He has to try, Nakamura has to try to pull, and he's wiggling now to, to pull it out. Pull out that leg. leg. Let's go. Oh, and look at Gracie. Now Gracie looking for the reversal. Nakamura could possibly go for a Kamura here. If he... Yep, he can try at least. Even, a, even an Americano with the way his arm is are there, he could, he could go for an Americano right now. That's what I mean, the figure four. I always go the figure four. Oh, wow. Right hand this time. And now they're on their feet. Left hook again. He's got a good left. Great left hook regard. And now we see a bit of a stand-up war developing here into the final minute. Under hook by Nakamura. Shot to the body by Gracie. Nakamura should throw a left knee to the body right here. I agree with that. And Daniel can do a right knee to the body here. Full power. I will throw it in. Full. That's there it. There you go. And he should do it again. Oh, nice. Uppercut. Oh, man, what a left hook by Nakamura. That left of Nakamura's is money in the bank. Yes, sir. I roundhouse attempted by Gracie, blocked by Kazuhiro Nakamura. Yeah, that left hook, that is worth American dollars, not Canadian. <laughs> oh, look at this. What a finish of round number one. You have something against currency called the loony? No, but All right, no. an interesting round it was. Definitely one in which I believe that man, Kazuhiro Nakamura, got the better of. But Daniel Gracie, boss, as he goes back to the uh, corner, how do the Gracies regroup? What does Daniel Gracie have to do? He's got to do what he did the last 30 seconds of the fight. He's got to attack, attack, attack. He cannot be on the bottom anymore. He has to take Nakamura down and get on top. And that's doing the same thing that Nakamura did to him in round number one. How does Gracie counter and offset that sublime southpaw strength of Nakamura. I don't know. I would I would go. Here's the replay. Let's take yeah, a look. Watch this. He's walking into it all the time. You should go backwards with your head, counter with the right straight. That's the trick to do here. Don't block it. And certainly do not take it. Watch these left hands. They're hammers. He's got good strength. Kazuhiro Nakamura. One of the prize students of the captain of Team Japan, Hidehiko Yoshida. Now here's Henzo Gracie. Let's listen in, even though I'm sure they'll be talking Portuguese. I know Boss Root knows 47 different foreign languages. No, I know only four. Oh, four. Yeah. I thought it was 47, you told me. No, that was when I was drunk. I told you 47, probably. Can't. The country I come from has two official languages. I know. I can't speak either. You're doing, you do pretty good right now, so don't worry about okay. that. Round two is underway here. They touch gloves. Last one. The sportsmanship. Yep, it is the final round. Again, reminding the fans that Bushido rules. One ten-minute round, one five-minute round. Not like the regular Pride series of one ten-minute, two five-minute rounds, but the regular rules of. Not how you start, but how you finish. So Daniel Gracie will have a, an opportunity here to turn the tables on Nakamura. Oh, Nakamura right, with that right. overhand right. And now they do stay in the stand-up early going. No kick, giving the Nakamura an opportunity, I thought, for a shot. Yes, you got to set up that kick. If you kick somebody, set it up with a punch. Very Left straight, right low kick. Yeah, that was lackadaisical, to say the least, by yes. Daniel Gracie. Whoa, and again, the left hook. 
Yeah, they're feeling each other off. As Daniel knows, he has to, to beat him in this game and then try to take him down and get on top because otherwise... There really is no time for the feeling of process boss for Daniel Gracie. I know. Oh, man, another overhand right with... So, really, Nakamura possesses knockout power, it seems, in both of his hands, the right and the left. Educated hands of Nakamura. I think, I think the left degree is from the University of Tokyo. The right hand is from the University of uh, Osaka. Just quite a statement there. Oh, and again. He, he didn't connect one time solid, but I think that if he connects one time solid with it, it could be over. Oh, nice right there also. Whoa, look at this. Two ground fighters playing a stand-up game. And I was just going to say, for the fans here in Japan, oh, and it's Kankuza in the head. And he's got it. Fans are now on their feet, some of them. They are definitely... He definitely dazed him. He definitely dazed him. He was oh. wobbling. I was just going to say, what are the fans here in Japan oh. thinking, seeing a Gracie involved in a stand-up war? And Daniel Gracie, give him full credit. He's now in, with combinations. And now this could be an attempt at a guillotine along the ropes. Daniel Gracie, Kazuhiro Nakamura. Along the ropes, he was holding the ropes, and Daniel was telling the referee that he was holding ropes. He's going to look for it. That, that could precipitate an immediate yellow card if not a disqualification. And now it was Daniel Gracie holding the ropes there momentarily. Yep. Yoshida not happy with that. Into the final two minutes, and this is an exchange of striking. We are seeing a stand up oh, here. Daniel Gracie oh, and Nakamura. I want to see a knee. Oh, look at that! Knee. Come on, guys! Now into the tie clinch. Show me a knee. Some great stuff here between Nakamura and Gracie. The lefts, the rights, into a clinch now. Underhook. And now a takedown attempt by Nakamura. Body lock against the ropes. And there's a jump. Guillotine. Guillotine. And he doesn't have it. He's got an arm in between. Yeah, the arm is... Yeah, he has his left arm in between. He's going to pull it out. And he's pulling his arm out. And now... Does Nakamura... Stop the move, but they're going to move, I'm telling you. And they're going to put it to the center of the ring. <laughs> Nakamura's way to victory right now should be unleashing hell. In this position, just go for it, full power. Then he's going to get the fight. Daniel should push him off and try to kick him in the head. And he's got everything. He has to move now. It is the final 60 seconds here at Pride Bushido between Kazuhiro Nakamura on the top and Daniel Gracie working from the guard. No, open guard now and looks like that's what Gracie is attempting to do. Yeah, he wants to go for an armbar but Nakamura is way too good for it. He sees it coming and he's just moving out real easy. He should just strike and strike and strike. That's what he should do. This. And, and full it, power. It appears that in the final half minute that Kazuhiro Nakamura is on his way to giving Team Japan a two to one advantage over Team Gracie in this historic event at Pride Bushido. A yellow card for both fighters. Here. Yellow card for both fighters. Interesting. I, I think. Oh, nice right hand there by Daniel. Gracie showing his right stand up skills. But again, boss, I do believe unless he, not, he ends up with a knockout blow, it's too little too late for Daniel Gracie. Because Nakamura has been consistent throughout the bout. And like you say, it's how we finish. Wow. It was an entertaining bout. But that youngster right there at the age of 24, a bright future for Kazuhiro Nakamura, and I do believe he's just evened his personal record at 500 at one and one, and like I mentioned, 
until we hear from the judges to make it official, but I think it's going to be Team Japan 2, Team Gracie 1, as we take a look at the replay, Boss Rutu. Oh, here we go. See the shots, look at them, they're wailing at each other. There was some good stand-up striking from ground fighters. Look at the left hook, hitting the temple. But we saw Daniel coming back also with right hooks and right uppercuts. I'm always saying this when I do the pride uh, color. I do not want to be a judge. No, it, it is going to be a difficult task. I give all the props in the world to Daniel Gracie for being confident enough to engage in a stand-up war with Kazuhiro Nakamura. My vote, my inkling is going to Nakamura though in this one. Hey, let's wait and see what the judges have to say. Judge Nakamura, Nakamura. Unanimous decision, Mr. Rutan. Three nothing. Kazuhiro Nakamura defeats Daniel Gracie and again in a tremendous display of sportsmanship. They meet in the center of the ring. <laughs> Look at him jumping in your seat. Jumping for there. joy, and there's another awesome. And we've seen this gentleman twice on camera. Unfortunately, maybe I can gold medalist in the Olympics in judo. Judo cup. That his name is Tadahiro Nomura. So he is also, I'm sure, very pleased that. Another judo specialist in Kazuhiro Nakamura. He's got the microphone. He is uh, going to address the crowd. Nakamura giving Japan a 2-1 advantage over Team Gracie. And he was sorry that uh, he could not finish the fight via submission or knockout. He was going for Ippon. He wants to go for an Ippon. Full point, take down, bang, finish the fight. That's what he wanted to do. And he was sorry that he couldn't do it. And I'm sure he wanted to do that for the... Uh, the coach of the team, the, the captain, Yoshida, but he has to be very ecstatic about giving Japan the edge over Team Gracie. A big win as there we see another Olympic gold medalist watching the proceedings here at Pride Boshido.